Opening round of the McGladry Classic from the Seaside Course in Sea Island, Georgia. Great shop making like this one from Ben Curtis at the eighth, 142 yards away at the par four. Just a pitching wedge for Curtis and it was on the money. In there for an eagle too. Greens were very receptive after some moisture in the air and a fog delay earlier in the morning. Second here at 17 for Chris Kirk. That finds the cup at the par three. Kirk shot 66. Third shot for Sung Yul No at the eighth. He stood four under at this point. Now the holes may not have been regulation size, perhaps. They were going in from everywhere during the opening round. No on the way to a 65. Carl Peterson. Second here at 17. And the Swede had a very good day and a pretty good bounce right there as well. Gorgeous result. It led to a birdie. Peterson got through 16 holes and stood at four under par. Will McKenzie, long birdie chance at the 10. Bang, on the way to a 66. McKenzie completed his round before darkness set in at about 545. Webb Simpson already a winner this year. Out in Las Vegas a few weeks ago. Birdie chance here at seven. Got it, 65 for Simpson. He's at five under. Brian Gay, long birdie attempt here at 17. One of the best in the game with the flak stick and converts there on the way to a 63. And he shared the clubhouse lead for a while with uh, Brian E. Baird, who's coming off double shoulder surgery and has gone more than 350 career starts on the PGA Tour without a victory. He's on a major medical extension this year, and he did some very nice work on Thursday, like that shot at 17, which led to a 63. But the overnight lead belongs to George McNeil. He got through 16 holes before darkness set in, and he got to eight under par. So McNeil leads heading into Friday. Sirius XM PGA Tour coverage starts at 10 a.m. Golf Channel's on the air at 1. And for the Tour Report, exclusive video and live scoring, log on to PGATour.com.